Consequence of Sound, the coolest blog in the internet. <laughs> and I'm gonna, um, these are personal questions, and I'm, uh, so a lot of this is stuff I need to know for my own life. I've been eating my neighbor's compost to save money, and I want to know if that's I just ethically... Need to quickly ask Wait, you, so you're you, saying you've been eating your neighbor's cum post? No, yeah, his and cum I, post, but well, I'll get into but cum But can I just say, I just think it's weird that your neighbor has a post where he collects all his cum. Well, we're in San Francisco. <laughs> I see. <laughs> Well, I would say are on the best bet. City ordinance if the, every block. If the compost is made out of like rice or something, right. then as long as you don't actually drink the cum from the from it, you're probably fine. My, My concern is that if you're not distilling it, you could end up with some bad cum. And then you're opening yourself up to hep C. And my concern is if you eat so much of it that you, you then you don't get enough protein. So I hope right. But you didn't it. you didn't actually mean compost. You meant compost. 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 Right. I'll get into so, the, his cum later. Right. So that's when uh, compost heap. We so your neighbor, like where they take the poop and the anything that's yeah. biodegradable, you yeah, put in a big pile baby outside. Diapers, banana uh, peel, baby diapers, uh, yeah, banana peels, I banana uh, peels, I uh, leaves. You can put leaves uh, in uh, it. Paper, paper products. products. Um, and the question is, do you eat? Should you eat it? Yeah, to save money, is it ethical for me to steal his compost to save I money? See. I think uh, anything in moderation is fine. Okay, what if I'm stealing it and eating it because it's a sexual turn on? Now, the purpose of the compost heap is to recycle, is it yes. not? Yes. So I think any way you're recycling it, for whatever reason... Well, but this does bring up a question, which is, even though it's garbage, yeah. is it their property? Yeah. Is and, it still... The, is a compost heap the, heap the property of the person who's composted is, and therefore it would be stealing to The take Supreme it. Court has actually ruled on this. This was in Ferguson versus... Uh, the uh, state of Missouri, if I'm yes. not mistaken. That's where we went at law school, Tulane Law School. And this was, uh, I think, 1993. Oh, it was, yeah. I don't know if it was 93 or 94. Well, it was but they said there's an expectation of public domain once you sort of declare it either through intention or through action yeah. of, right. of, of, of garbage. But, but Justice uh, Hermfumfer, Mm -hmm. ruled because he had actually looked at bylaw 5 in mm -hmm. section 6 of the uh, Neutrality Act. Which is one of the most overused, oversighted mm -hmm. bylaws. Right. But I'd like to just speak to your idea that you get sexually turned on by compost. Yeah. Yeah. See, in this society, everyone has different turn-ons. I mean, for everything you can imagine. Some some people are turned on by, like, large breasts. Yeah, you know, that's like, ridiculous. So, I mean, it's like, it's, it's, it's come on, come on, you know, yeah. so it's fine. Especially in San Francisco. I may have made a mistake with this girl. I had a first date a couple weeks ago. Haven't heard from her. Um, I took her out to dinner, and at dinner, I introduced her to my favorite dildo. Uh, the other diners were aghast. I think I made a huge mistake, but isn't uh, precedence for introducing a girl to your favorite dildo? Just show her your dildo. Is that like a nickname for your buddy? Like no, it was guy you were. It was your. It was. It was, literally a, it was a Shaquille O'Neal double dong, and so it's quite a presentation. On was the it? Table. Was it the actual Shaquille O'Neal double dong, the licensed one, or was it a knockoff? It was a knockoff. Was okay. it a thing well, where you got your, the, There's your mistake. It it's not the dildo, off. and the color is off. It's clearly. Mm -hmm. uh, was not, it the thing where you got the waiter to come with the big thing and say, and, and open it up, and da da da. What kind of a restaurant? She thought was she was getting what like was the, chicken what kind on of food. Feet. What kind of food did it was? Shape penis. Yeah. Well, that was shape penis. Shape. Shape of penis. That's what that means. Yeah. So that's good okay. That you did that. Right? Shape penis. The yeah. thing is, it didn't have the NBA logo. Yeah, no, that's, uh, so that's where you went wrong. Right? The color is off. There's no NBA logo. You know what, though? I'm glad it didn't have the NBA logo because they would have sued you so hard. I know. And they're very litigious. Do you have a second favorite dildo um, that you might want to show her? I do. I have quite a collection at home. Quite a collection. Maybe give her a call. And say, you know, you know, a, I know you, you're an avid collector. You, say, a, you could say, you, you, could, this, you could do this. And this is a classic move. I know, you know, maybe I we got off on, on the wrong first antiques day. Roadshow. He yeah. has one that he he has. You have some yeah. from the 19th century. Corrugated metal. Yes, yeah, some rude. I mean, I mean and, 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 and they are. And then, I mean, the yeah. history and the work, the craft. So you have some tin dildos. Yeah, and they're they're um, rusted. You know, they were just. It sounds like the bottom line is it's worth a phone call. Okay, what's the best way to dispose of a body in 2013? Like ultra modern, like not All right, wood well, chippers, cause not because the, the new lime. rules kicked in in January, so that it's kind of things have changed. Is it on East Coast or West Coast? West Coast. So you're dealing with West Coast tides. Mm -hmm. West Coast tides, Northern California marijuana country. Okay, okay. If that keys you into my issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Lay ocean grower problem. Those are my issues. My my thing is, and I, to me, this is tried and true. 
okay, which is just big barrel of acid. Mm -hmm. and you just put the body in the acid, and it just burns it burns it away. And well, then no bar barrels are not cheap. Uh, can you afford a big barrel? Well, it's I, be a I good get a, barrel. And you don't want a barrel from a winery. I, I like when they're oak. Okay. It, and the only downside to what Michael's suggesting is that it's time consuming. You know, it's not like you dip it in. And you can get it on your fingers, so it's very important to wear work gloves. Um, if it's, if it's me, and again, tried and true, I'm digging a grave. I'm going out to yeah. the woods. Yeah. I'm digging a grave. Big Sur. I, I mean, grave. you said it's Northern yeah. California. And that's respectful. I, you could go to Big Sur. Yeah. I'm not digging a shallow grave. Yeah. I'm I digging a nice, deep, eight foot, not six foot, yeah. eight foot grave. I'm going to wrap that body up. Old you, school. You haven't done I'm going to wrap it. I'm going to wrap it in uh, something, something a that. A tarp? Yeah, I'd like to even use a, a, a plastic, a, a, a plastic He's tarp. He's talking out of his ass. He hasn't buried a body that way in over a year. Yeah. No, I haven't. I haven't. So then why? <laughs> I have a crush on this girl. This is a different girl. I might sound mm -hmm. a little loose. I want her to get, she's married. She has six kids. Uh oh. She's 68. Uh -oh. She's very settled, very happy. I need her to notice me. Well, what, what should I do? Have you, have you written a song yet? I have not. I think there's a red flag here. If I could, if I could be so bold, and that this woman has a weight problem. He didn't say anything about that. I think the she, you didn't say anything about the that. first thing you want to do is she sit is, down and have a conversation with her about her weight, and she, is that something she's willing to? She does weigh 68 pounds, so that oh, so, oh, so, so she's, she's, she's underweight. She's also 68 years she's old. 68 years she's 68 years old, and she weighs 68 okay. pounds. Okay, see, now I was under the impression she was obese, so I have to rethink, rethink my answer. All right, I think she's a problem. A way, a different kind of weight problem. Okay, so I got just girl problems. Yeah, you really do. I'm striking out. Here. You know what though? Still, it's worth a phone call. Okay. But I'll do make a phone call. I wouldn't call when the husband's at home. Or the kids. Or the kids. Unless I'm trying to pull them together, right? Even then. You know what I would do is I would pose as like a representative of Legoland and say, mm -hmm. "Hey, I have a deal to t when for the dad only taking the mm -hmm. six kids to Legoland." Mm-hmm. They're she off. She can't go. She's she can't go. She'll be home alone. That's when you call. Okay. Done. I feel repaired. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, John. I hope we helped. You helped. That's what we do here at Consequence of Sound.